My name is TJ Shorts II, and this is a day in my life. Welcome to my crib, not MTV Cribs, just a day in the life. I would say the biggest differences in my apartments that I've had in previous years to now is probably just the size. The club has done a great job of finding me an apartment here. I feel super comfortable, made this place kind of like my home. Tried to decorate a little bit, got my shoes and stuff here. Just doing what I can to kind of feel the same how I feel when I'm back in the States. Um, well, I mean, most of my time when I'm at home, uh, I'm watching a lot of EuroLeague, and this is really, uh, I guess you'd call it my safe space. Right here, TV there, chilling. We watching double weeks, we watching single weeks, it doesn't matter, EuroLeague. It's on, I'm putting it on the TV and we watching. I mean, for me to feel comfortable at home, uh, a lot of things I'm doing is relaxing. I'm watching documentaries on Netflix with my girlfriend, uh, spending a lot of time playing video games with my teammates. I like to watch basketball in my free time, kind of catch as much basketball as I can, but uh, just a combination of those three things. Video games, Netflix, and watching basketball. Leaders. Leaders Cup we know? Yeah, we won the Leaders Cup this year. Um, in here, uh, this is, I guess you could say, where all the magic happens. I'm not the one cooking. Shout out to my girlfriend. She's the one that does all the magic in here. She's the one that takes care of me. Uh, Cooking in here, we got the dual sink, obviously the stove here, microwave, oven, everything. Small little, I guess you could call it like a kitchen island, but this is where majority of the cooking is happening, air fryer, all that stuff uh, taking place right here. I lay, I lay, I lay, I lay. First in the gym, that seems about right. But normally it'll be Colin, Tyson, Nadir, those are the three that are normally here with me, so they should be walking in soon. My decision to come to Paris was one that was thought out in the summer, but I think the main reason was coming here with my coach. Obviously, Paris has a lot of aspirations, a lot of goals to get to the EuroLeague, and uh, I saw a place for me to be able to have a, a major role on a team with a coach that I had in the previous season, and uh, that was probably the main reason why I wanted to come here, and uh, hopefully to boost Paris into the EuroLeague. The chemistry between me and my head coach, Coach Isolo, uh, is probably one of the biggest factors in my game, one of the biggest kind of things that helped me develop into the player I am today. A lot of the success that you see that I have on the court, I gotta give a lot of credit to him with helping me just grow and be confident on the court and to do the things that the audience and the media sees me do. Playing alongside Nadir is, is super easy. Uh, this is a guy that attracts attention from all kinds of defenses, and he makes my life a lot easier, because now they can't only just focus on me. You also have another threat on the court that can score it, can pass it, shoot it, drive it, do everything. So it makes my job super easy. When you play against Paris basketball, it makes it super tough because you don't know who's gonna do what that night, and it's just something that's so easy uh, for me to just go out there and kind of play my game. Seeing me and Shima's rise in Europe, it just makes me happy. I think seeing his success makes me more happy than my own success. It's something that we've talked about since the day we met in college. It's something that we both wanted. We knew this was in our future. We didn't know what route we were gonna take, but we knew eventually if we stuck 
to the course, stayed focused, put the work in, we could be at the top level. And you see it now with him. He's making a splash in EuroLeague. Hopefully uh, in the following years, it could be my turn to do the same thing. But uh, I, I'm nothing but happy for him. Uh, I'm happy for the su success of myself as well. And hopefully we could both just keep this thing rolling into the future. to tap into it's a local cafe by the house that we like to go to for lunch sometimes for dinner we we'll see what's up so yeah if they actually have the yeah i think i like la Forche because uh it's a little bit of i i feel like french cuisine a little mix of like also american they got a good uh burger here uh, and it's also, it's, it's close to home, it's not directly in the city, so it's something nice to just be able to kind of get out the house, get some food when you don't feel like cooking. Um, so yeah, this is kind of our, I guess, our go-to spot. You're not even breathing. Because <laughs> it's so good. This is probably my favorite corner right here, just because it's the, the gaming setup. You see the Xbox, it's Xbox over PlayStation, uh, but got the monitor, got the whole setup, playing Apex, 2K, Call of Duty. I mean, any game, you name it, I'm playing. Uh, the experience in a large city is much different. It is incredibly uh, cool and also uh, tough at the same time, because there's a lot of things to do uh, sometimes you can get a little lost in a city like this, uh, but you got to always just keep the main goal, I guess the main goal, and that's to focus on basketball and then enjoy life outside of basketball as much as you can. But yeah, it's been a, a great adjustment period for me and it's been a, so far a, a great time being in a city like Paris. But Paris has definitely influenced me in terms of like my fashion. I feel like before I wasn't that into fashion and then you come to a city like Paris where fashion's everywhere, people are dressing up just to go to lunch. Uh, you got fashion weeks that are out here every year. Um, when you come out here, you wanna look good and now I try to look my best. Obviously you see the closet. Um, so yeah, I would say Paris has definitely opened up a different side that I kinda didn't know as much in terms of fashion and looking nice. So this is a little taste of it. So well, this is a wrap and a day in my life. I don't know where you're going, but you can't stay here. Gotta go.